Jordan here from Organized Classroom. I hope you are wonderful and fantastic today. So today I want to do a really, really quick video for you to show you how to create your own custom organized desktop background. Okay, so today I'm going to show you, I personally have a MacBook Pro. You can still do this on a PC if you have a PC. Um, I am going to show you how to create it with PowerPoint though. So you will need PowerPoint or Keynote or some other similar program in order to do it. It's going to be basically the same idea. You will just do it in your program with the same kind of steps. So I'm going to show you the basis of it. Okay. So I'm just going to open my PowerPoint and I'm going to just choose a plain white background. Now I'm going to get rid of these and I am going to go up here and I'm going to change my page setup just because I want it a little, um, a little bit more wide because my screen, since I have a MacBook Pro, is much wider than it is tall. So I just want to make sure that's there. All right, now you have a blank canvas to work from. From this point, you could add a background if you want to. You can add labels on top of it, clip art, whatever you like to do. I'm going to show you very simply how to create your own label style with basic shapes in PowerPoint. So I'm going to go to Insert, Shape, and let's see. Let's try this one first. And let's do a circle and maybe this. All right. So now once you have your shapes, I'm actually going to pull mine out here a little bit. And then do, oh, that one's kind of cool like that. We'll make it a little bit bigger. All right. Now I've got some, and they look basically like labels. Now I want to change the background on them. Of course, you can go in and just format the shape and you could change it just to a, a different colored background if you want. You can see that there. But if you actually want to change it to a digital paper that you can download, I'm going to go with, let's go with the blue chalkboard. And you can see exactly how it looks. Looks like a chalkboard, right? Pretty cool. I always make sure I change the line color because it's always that default blue. And then you can change whether or not it has a shadow. It's up to you, whatever you decide to do. So let's change this one as well. Change the line. I'm going to change the fill. To a picture. It's on my desktop already. Let's go with green this time. And then let's do this one in the black, I think. Okay. So once you get that done, now I've got some basic ones that just look like frames or labels rather. Now I want to add my titles at the top of it so I can organize my folders. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to just basically insert a text box. All right. I want to do it this way though. I don't like whenever it shows up right on top of the shape. So I'm going to put a text box here and then I will move it. So let's just say these are my products. Of course, yours are going to be different, especially if you are doing it at school. And I want to change the font to, let's see here. I want to go with, let's go with this one. And I'm going to change it to a white font. Why? Because I'm putting it on a chalkboard, of course. Okay. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. All right. There's one label that's on there. 
and we'll change this one. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Maybe we'll put it down here to email. And then this one, let's do with current projects. There we go. Okay. So it's truly as simple as that. You are just going to go in, create some shapes if you like. Add the backgrounds of your choices. Of course, you could add some cute little clip art around here, whatever that you wanted to. And then from there, I'm just going to file. I'm going to save it as a picture. I'm just going to leave it. Well, let's see. Chalkboard desktop. It's going to save as a JPEG right to my desktop. Okay. All right. Then... From there, it's right here. There it is. I actually like to change the name of it so that they're not all named slide one. <laughs> but as you can see, if I if I click on it, it's it's just an image. It's like a picture you took on your camera. Now on my computer, I actually have to go in and import it into iPhoto. So I'm just going to import it there. Now it's in iPhoto. And then for me to change my background, I just right click and I'm going to, I always have to do it twice for some reason. I'm going to change my desktop background. And as soon as this comes up, it's loading the images. There's the last import. And there it is. So I can then just from that point go through and organize everything that I have onto the right place on the mat, wherever I want to go with that. So we'll move that over here. Okay, it's truly as simple as that, everyone. It's not, it's not harder than that at all. You could do this for your classroom, your student computer, so if you want to have a math place for all of your math program icons, one for reading, one for spelling, one for games, whatever you like. This one obviously is for my own personal computer. You could do the same thing for your own personal computer. And the best part, it truly does not take a very long time at all. So you can change them out as many times as you want. You can make it seasonal. Maybe there's a holiday coming up and you just want to make a cute one for a holiday. It's kind of fun too. So definitely come visit me at organizedclassroom.com for other great fun teaching tips and ideas. And if you head to the blog post, if you're watching this on YouTube, head to the um, description on the YouTube channel and it gives you the link for the blog post. And on that blog post, I also have listed a Pinterest board that has a bunch of free digital papers, clip art, and frames for you to create your very own as well if you don't want to make your own like we just did. All right. Thanks, for everyone, for joining us, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.